Not every spirit here worship Jesus. Do you believe that Jesus is God? I don't care about that right now. No, do you believe Jesus is God? This is a place to mourn. This is a place to mourn. Not to crush your rhetoric. Get the hell out of here. Well, you know, this, this isn't, uh, this is the way I celebrate the death of my Savior. Can't I celebrate? So you, I can't celebrate the death of my Savior? But he didn't stay dead. He rose from the dead. Amen. If she believed in Jesus and she's in heaven, then she'd be happy. Amen. You obviously have a lot of hurt, miss. You have a lot of hurt, Jesus. Jesus wants to heal that hurt. Amen. Jesus wants to take away your pain. Amen. See, I don't have to re I can disagree with you and not have to curse you. It's because you're convicted. The truth is, Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. Well, we're going to... No, we're going to be here all night. We're Amen. celebrating this night with you. Jesus rose from the dead. All souls procession. We're, we're trying to lead them to heaven. Amen. All souls procession to heaven tonight. 2021. Praise the Lord. We're here. This is an exciting night. All souls, all lost souls get found in Jesus Christ. Bless you. Huh? Praise the Lord. Everybody, this is a beautiful night tonight. We're here to tell you about the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Greatest thing that ever happened in history is when Jesus died on a cross for you and for me. On a night where people are celebrating death, all souls procession, we want to tell you how all souls can be found. Amen. All souls can be found through Jesus Christ. The Bible says that it's appointed unto men and women once to die and then the judgment. See, there's a day where each of us are going to appear before God and we got to be right with Him. The one way that we get right with God is through the cross. Through the cross of Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus is Lord. Amen. Jesus is Lord. So people might be thinking, why are we walking with these crosses? Well, on a night where everybody's celebrating death, we want to celebrate the one who conquered death. Amen. Jesus Christ who conquered death 2,000 years ago on the cross. He took my sin. He took your sin. He paid it in full. Tonight is the night for people to encounter God. You know, the devil would want you tonight to encounter some other form of spirituality. But tonight's the night to encounter Jesus because he loves you. Jesus loves you. Jesus died for you. It's true, miss. You look shocked that I'm sharing that. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. Amen. You know, every religion is filled with a lot of things that are fake. Every religion is filled with a lot of truth, but a lot of things that are fake. The most powerful message in the world is that for God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whosoever believes in him would not perish, but have everlasting life. For God so loved the world. You know, the point of the gospel is that there is hope and freedom for everybody. There's hope and freedom from sin. Sin leads to death. People say, why is there death in this world? There's death because of sin. 
You may say, well, I'm not a sinner, I'm not a bad person, but God's, God's standard is perfection, and we all fall short of perfection. That's why Jesus Christ had to die. Jesus Christ died on the cross, paying for our sin in full, so that we could be forgiven. So that we could be forgiven. There's only one person in history who overcame death, and that was Jesus Christ. Amen. There's only one person in history that overcame death, and that was Jesus, Jesus Christ. Jesus so hates. today's a day to celebrate the one that overcame death, you know, and that's every day. We're here at All Souls Procession, but you know, souls are lost. Many souls are lost, and we want them to be found. Jesus wants you to be found tonight. And the way you get found is by repenting of sin and putting your faith in Jesus. It doesn't come through going to church. It doesn't come through being a Christian uh, and doing all the Christian-y things or a Catholic. It, it comes from getting real with God, getting real with God and repenting of sin and putting your faith, your trust in what Jesus did for you on the cross. If you're here tonight, I want to encourage you. Consider that Jesus Christ is calling you. Consider that Jesus Christ is calling you tonight. Jesus is saying, tonight is the night. Amen. If you were to die tonight and your heart's not right with God, Get the right Bible says that God. you would die in separation for Get eternity. Right God. God doesn't want that. The Bible Jesus says that God is, is willing that nobody perish. Amen. But God has given us a free will. People have a free will, and with that free will, they either reject God. Not loud enough? It's because you're deaf. God's speaking to you, but you can't hear him. God is calling each person here tonight. Turn to him. Turn to him. Repent. Turn to Jesus. Repent and believe repent, the gospel. Repent of sin and believe in Jesus Christ. That's the gospel. That's where true life is found. True life isn't found in celebrating people that have passed away. It's in celebrating the one that overcame death. Amen. And that was Jesus. When he rose from the dead, he overcame death. He overcame hell. He overcame sin. He overcame guilt. He overcame the shame that we all have. When Jesus was on the cross, he literally took your sin, your sin upon himself so that you could be forgiven. He took my sin upon himself so that we could be forgiven. Tonight is the night. Open up your heart to Jesus. You know, most people think that this is just a celebration, but the problem is it's necromancy, and God warns about necromancy. He says trying to contact the dead is witchcraft. He'll send people to hell for witchcraft. So we have to warn you, you can't participate in this event. You can participate in celebrating Jesus Christ. You can remember loved ones, but don't celebrate the dead. Celebrate Jesus Christ who Amen. overcame death. Celebrate Jesus Christ who overcame hell. Celebrate Jesus Christ who is victorious. You know, 2,000 years have gone by and people have been trying to remove Jesus from history. Trying to remove him. If you go to communist China, get arrested for being a Christian. You go to North Korea, you get arrested for being a Christian. You go to Iran, you get arrested for being a Christian. There's something about this world that can't handle the message of the cross. And the message of the cross, it seems foolish to those that are perishing. But to those that are willing to humble themselves and to repent of their sins, it leads to life, eternal life. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world. That means you. God loved you. He died for you. He paid for your sins. How will you respond to him tonight? Tonight is an opportunity. Many people will think they have many years of life. There's many young people at this event. But the, th the truth Come is, anyone Repent. can die at any time. It's important to be right with God. Good deeds, religion, it doesn't make a person right with God. The one thing that makes somebody right with God is the cross. Amen. The cross of Jesus Christ, because it was on the cross that Jesus Christ overcame sin. It was on the cross that Jesus paid for sin. It's the truth. Many people want to deny it, but it's the truth. Jesus Christ is Lord of all. And you know, there's something offensive about the cross. People don't like the cross because the cross merits something. Jesus is Lord. Amen. Jesus is Lord. Amen. Krishna is dead. Jesus is Lord. Krishna is dead. Amen. Jesus is Lord. Amen. Krishna is dead. Krishna wasn't even a real person and he died of an arrow being shot in his heel. Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Jesus overcame death. Jesus overcame death. The most beautiful message in the world that God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. 
For God so loved the world, that means you. What will you do with the message of the gospel? What will you do with Jesus Christ? What will you do? I think you're crazy. You're crazy not to believe in Jesus. It's crazy not to believe in Jesus. The most loving being in the universe, God himself, dying on a cross, paying for your and my sins. He didn't have to do that, but he did that out of love. He did that out of love. Jesus Christ died on the cross paying for your and my sins because he loves you. Now, if you persist in sin and rebellion against God, the Bible says that you will spend eternity paying the result of that choice. If you persist in rejecting God, it leads to eternity of separation with God. Don't, don't reject the message of the gospel. Turn to Jesus. Amen. Turn to Jesus. Tonight is the night to turn to Jesus. Turn to Jesus. The Bible says it's appointed unto men and women once to die, and then the judgment. It's appointed unto men and women once to die, and then the judgment. You see, there is no contacting the dead once they're dead. They're dead. They're either with God or they're either separated from God. They're either with God or they're either separated from God. There's heaven and then there's hell. If you die without Jesus Christ, the Bible says you'll go to hell. You know, life is like the beat of a drum. And one day that drum's going to stop beating. And when your heart stops beating, you're going to appear before God and have to give an account. You're going to have to give an account. Are you right with Jesus today? Are you right with Jesus today? You know, your heart is like a drum. And one day your heart will stop. Your heart will stop. And if you're not right with God, the Bible says there will be judgment. God gives us opportunity day after day after day. Opportunity day after day after day to respond to His grace. Will you respond to His grace? Will you respond to the grace of God tonight? Tonight is an opportunity for you to repent and believe in Jesus Christ. This festival won't have anything for you. In fact, it will open, open your life up more to demons. Truthfully, this festival won't lead anywhere good. But what we're preaching to you tonight, Jesus leads somewhere good. Jesus leads somewhere good. In fact, he leads to heaven. Jesus leads to heaven. Repenting of Jesus leads to eternal life. So this is the grace of God tonight. That God has sent people. Sent people right into, into your earshot to tell you about Jesus. Will you respond to Jesus tonight? Will you open up your heart to Jesus tonight? I got to tell you, this festival doesn't have anything that Jesus has. This, lead, this, this festival is about celebrating death. We're here to celebrate life. Amen. Jesus came that you might have life and have it more abundantly. You see, my Savior, my God, the one that hung on the cross, he's so powerful that death was quaking in its, in its boots while he was in the grave for three days. Jesus overcame death. Jesus Christ rose from the dead. Jesus Christ rose from the dead and he leads to life. Will you repent of your sins and put your faith in Jesus? Sin separates us from God. The Bible says that the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. You know, we're right next to some people with the drum. And the truth is life is like a drum, but one day it stops. Each person's life will stop. And when it stops, they'll either be right with God or they'll be separated from God forever. The only way to be right with God is through Jesus. It doesn't come through Buddhism, doesn't come through Hinduism. Rightness with God comes through the cross because you see, it was on the cross that Jesus Christ paid for sin. It was on the cross that Jesus Christ overcame. It was on the cross. Yes, you can shake your head, but it's true. It's true. Jesus is Lord. Yes, Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. So on a night tonight where everyone's dressed up, I want to challenge you. What is the condition of your heart before God? Are you running? Are you running from God? You know, many people ignore God. Many people ignore the voice of God. Many people just say, oh, I reject God. And therefore, because I reject him, he doesn't exist. God exists whether or not you want to believe it or not. The truth is Jesus is real. Jesus died on the cross 2,000 years ago. Jesus died on the cross 2,000 years ago paying for your sin. Paying for your sin. 
He took your sin. That's how serious sin is. Jesus had to die. He had to take the judgment of God and the wrath of God for your sin because, yes, your sin has merited punishment and judgment. God is perfect. Everybody here has lied. Everybody here has hated. Everybody here has been selfish. There's only one escape. There's only one escape from sin, and it's Jesus Christ. It's the cross. You see, the story doesn't end there. Jesus doesn't just die. Jesus raised, was risen from the dead. He overcame death. He rose from the dead. Jesus Christ rose from the dead. Jesus Christ rose from the dead. Jesus Christ rose from the dead. Krishna is a demon. Krishna is a demon. Jesus is Lord. Krishna is a demon. Jesus is Lord. Krishna is a demon. Jesus is Lord. Krishna is a demon. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. The only way to be forgiven of sin is to repent and believe. This best This festival, this festival tonight will lead nowhere. This festival tonight is all about worshiping the devil at the end of the day. You're going to burn a big urn up to the sky. God's not looking for that sacrifice. He's looking for a broken and contrite heart. Will you give God what he's looking for? He's not looking for you to celebrate the dead. He's looking for you to give your heart to him while you're alive. He's looking to overcome the death that's in your life. He's looking to overcome the death that's in your life. Today, if you don't believe in Jesus Christ, if you're not born again, you're spiritually dead. You are spiritually dead. If you don't believe in Jesus Christ tonight, I have to break it to you. You are spiritually dead. And you need, you need the sin vaccine. Did you know that there's a vaccine to overcome death? It's called the cross. There's a vaccine. Everybody in our world is all concerned about a vaccine. You want to know the real vaccine? It's been there for 2,000 years. The cross of Jesus Christ. The cross of Jesus Christ overcomes sin. The cross of Jesus Christ overcomes death. There's one thing that overcomes anxiety and depression in this world. It's the love of God through Jesus Christ. Now you can deny it, you can reject it, but you know, you're doing that at your own peril. You know, a lot of people here probably say, why do people reject the COVID-19 vaccine? I gotta ask you today, why are you rejecting the sin vaccine? Why are you rejecting the answer to life? Jesus Christ and the love of God is the answer to life. Will you open up your heart to him today? Will you open up your heart to Jesus today? Will you let his love shine through? Will you let the love of Jesus shine into your life? You doing good, Tony? Will you let the love of Jesus reach you? Everybody has to repent and believe the gospel. Have you repented and believed in Jesus Christ? Why are you here tonight then, sir? This event has nothing to do with Jesus. This event, they're going to burn a big old urn up to the heavens to some quote-unquote whatever anyone believes in. That's, that's witchcraft. The Bible says idolatry and sorcery will lead to hell. Witchcraft and sorcery leads to hell. But Jesus Christ leads to life. Amen. I see you, you took off your costume, the one that you wear 30, 364 days of the year. That's what your soul looks like without Jesus. Amen. This is the one day, the one day of the year that people in Tucson take off their costume and you get to see the dead dry bones, the skulls, the dead lifeless dry bones that they are. Tonight's the night. It's a spiritual night tonight. God's going to show up tonight and he's knocking on the door of people's hearts. He's knocking on the door of your heart saying, will you believe? Will you turn to him and believe the gospel? You know, lots of people are dressed up with skulls. You know, what, what better thing to represent what sin has done? Sin brings death. Jesus brings life. The Bible says that for God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him would not perish but have eternal life. Do you have eternal life tonight? Is Jesus Christ is the Lord of your life? If so, why are you here? If not, when are you going to make Jesus the Lord of your life? It is important. Tonight is the night. Jesus Christ is calling you. Tonight is the night. If you can open up your heart. You know, many people have died of COVID in this season. Death is something that's sure to all men and women. There's one thing that's sure in this life. That all men and women will die. There's one thing that's sure and certain in this life. 
that all men and women will die, but there's a cure to death, to spiritual death, the cure to eternity, being separated from God, the cure to eternal death is the cross. It's the cross of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is Lord. You see, the God I worship, the one true living God, he died on the cross for you. Yes, he did. He did. You know, the, the bad thing about being old is it can make you really stubborn and set in your ways. A lot of people are set and stubborn. They can't look at the data. The truth is there is a God. The truth is Jesus is who he claimed to be. The truth is that Jesus Christ is calling you tonight. Tonight, do not harden your heart. Tonight, turn from sin. Tonight, open up your heart to Jesus. You see, everybody thinks that God... God's going to punish them if they come to him. The truth is that Jesus will, will welcome you with open arms, with open arms. All he's looking for is you to humble yourself, humble yourself. You see, God won't, God and pride don't mix. God won't accept us if we're proud. God won't accept us if we have um, sin in our life. If, if we want to be a God of our own, Jesus will not accept that. But if we repent, and believe in Jesus Christ. That's the criteria. Will you open up your heart? Will you repent and believe the gospel? Will you repent and believe the gospel? Will you repent and believe the gospel? Tonight is the night, friends. Tonight is the night. Do not harden your heart. Do not harden your heart. This world doesn't have answers. Jesus has the answer. This world doesn't offer hope. Jesus offers hope. There is no hope outside of Jesus Christ. Today is the day of salvation. If you open up your heart to Jesus, he will come in and he'll rescue you from the prison that you're in that you don't even realize you're in. The worst prison is the prison of sin. And the thing is, it's a padded cell and it has many distractions. If you are not born again tonight, I must challenge you. If you were to die, you will spend eternity separated from God. Tonight is the night where you open up your heart Tonight is the night. God is calling you. God is calling you tonight. Will you open up your heart? There's a reason why God sent people to preach the gospel to you tonight. We're in a crazy time. We're in a crazy time of life. There's many, many things that are going to be happening over the next few years, and it's important to be right with God. COVID was just the beginning. COVID was just the beginning. When a culture and a nation departs from the Lord, when a culture and nation departs from the Lord, it leads to judgment. Tonight's the night for you to be part of the solution. Repent of your sins. Believe in Jesus Christ. Amen. 2,000 years ago, he died on the cross for you. 2,000 years ago, he died on the cross for all of our sins so that we might have eternal life, that we can be forgiven. Everybody here, thumbs down? You need to turn upside down then because it's really a thumbs up. You're the one that's upside down. Amen. <laughs> So let's put it to the test. You willing to challenge me on it? Okay, what's wrong about what I'm preaching? I'll even let you speak to the mic. If you if you want to voice your view, you can voice them. I'm serious, you can come up and talk if you want. Are you scared to? Okay, then let's put it to the test. What's wrong with what I'm preaching tonight? What's that? Cat got your tongue? How am I worshiping evil? Hey, can I say something? What's that? Hold on, just one second. And one second. I can't hear you. There's a helicopter. No. Okay, well, I want to... If somebody has cancer, does the cancer need to die or take over? If somebody has cancer, does their cancer need to die or should the cancer take over that which is alive? Because what I'm preaching, what, the reason why Christianity talks about death is death to sin. So Jesus said, I've come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. The devil's all about death. Yeah, but humanity's killing themselves. Yeah. You know you know what Mark Zuckerberg wants to do? He wants to put you in, in the metaverse. <laughs> if you look at where the world's headed, you got the elite, you got the elite that want to enslave the common person. And so you think it's just going to go that way? If there's ever nuclear war, everything's done. Humanity is at a break. Jeez, the love of God is the answer. Amen.
Where's the girl that wanted to talk to The wages before? of sin is death. It's not about death, it's about life. We're all going to die one day. No, I worship, I worship the God of the living. Jesus Christ conquered death. He rose from the dead. So you have it. Maybe you grew up Catholic. Okay, if you grew up Catholic, Catholicism worships death. I'll give you that. But the God of the Bible, not the God of Catholicism, is the God of life. He, he, he healed people. He healed the sick. He cleansed the lepers. He raised the dead. He raised Lazarus. Jesus is coming back. Yes. Did you want to say something? Jesus. We're giving hope to the souls. We're giving hope. Jesus is the hope. Well, I can't give you the mic, but I can let you speak. So, what's the problem you have with what I'm doing? The problem I have here is that Jesus himself is not bad. But what you're preaching here doesn't apply to everyone. You're being oh, really disrespectful. Okay. How is it not? A, how does it not apply to everyone? This is a spiritual place. Not every spirit here worship Jesus. Do you believe that Jesus is God? I don't care about that right now. No, That's do you believe not, Jesus is God? The point. This is a place to mourn. This, this is, is a place, place to mourn, not to brush your rhetoric. Okay, get the hell out well, of you know, here. Well, you know, this this isn't uh this is the way I celebrate the death of my Savior. Can't I celebrate? So you, I can't celebrate the death of my Savior, but He didn't stay dead. He rose from the dead. Amen. She would be ashamed of what you are fucking doing. If she believed in Jesus and she's in heaven, then she'd be happy. Amen. You obviously have a lot of hurt, miss. You have a lot of hurt, Jesus. Jesus wants to heal that hurt. Amen. Jesus wants to take away your pain. Amen. See, I don't have to read. I can disagree with you and not have to curse you. It's because you're convicted. The truth is, Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. Oh, we're going to... No, we're going to be here all night. We're Amen. celebrating this night with you. Jesus rose from the dead. All souls procession. We're, we're trying to lead them to heaven. Amen. All souls procession to heaven tonight. 2021. Praise the Lord. We're here. This is an exciting night. All souls, all lost souls get found in Jesus Christ.